Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Filmora 13 by Wondershare, and I am going to show you a lot of the new AI functionality that they have put in their video editor, and you can do some crazy good stuff in here. In this video, we're going to look at generating AI music in the app itself in Filmora. We're going to create AI images. We're going to do AI portraits, smart cutouts, background removal using the AI functionality, text-to-speech, AI video translation, all of those things I'm going to show you and we're going to do it in just a few short minutes. So stay tuned. Let's get into this. All right. So the first AI tool I want to show you is possibly my favorite one and it could save you a little money. We're going to create some AI generated music and it is a piece of cake and you do not need to pay for anything. This is all included in Filmora. So if you have a subscription to one of those sound packages, you may want to cancel it and save a few bucks. How do I do it? Simple. Up at the top here, click on audio, and then under audio, you're going to see AI music, and you're going to see that cool little AI hologram looking thing there. That's what we're going for. Click on that. Then we get two options. You can download audio. So I've already created some, but I'm going to show you the process of creating your own. So I'm going to click on the tool here and then watch this. All I got to do here, and literally it's a piece of cake, is I'm just going to type in happy. So I'm going to select my mood. I'm just going to click on my mood. I'm going to click on my theme now. The theme I want to go with is, what do we got? We got puppy dogs. So let's go with something fun like um, travel. I like to travel with my dog. So we're going to go with that. Again, guys, you can pick and choose any combination you'd like. I just want to show you the techniques here. And then finally for genre, well, we're doing puppy dog stuff. So what do I want here? I kind of want a, and again, look at all these different styles here. I'm going to go with some pop. So we've got a pop, happy sounding pop song for travel. And again, select what you want. I'm just going to show you the techniques. Once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on try free. Here we go. Watch this. Now you're going to see here that it is generating a song for us. It's loading up. And in a few short seconds, when it's done, I'm going to come back, show you what I got. I'm going to put it on the timeline, and then I'm going to show you the next amazing AI technique. All right. Welcome back. So I've gone ahead and made this a little bigger here so you can see the images. But check this out, we've got a French Bulldog with the moon in the background reading a book just like I asked for. Perfection. Now, I'll click on a few of the other options here. This one's got no moon, but you can clearly see what a high resolution, what a great job it's done on a French Bulldog. That looks exactly like a French Bulldog. And here we go, moon's in the background on this guy here. You can see it in the background reading this book. Again, you'll also remember that I put in a pretty general prompt, so if you want to be, you know, put in a little bit more specific, I highly recommend it. But uh, yeah, this is how it works. Now also, let me show you here. When I clicked on that, we have all of these other options available as well. For example, right now, I've got portrait selected, but if I wanted to create realistic landscape styles or I wanted to do hand-drawn, cyberpunk, ACG, Van Gogh, all these different types of styles, you can go ahead and select this, for example, CGI, and then I could render it again, and it will give me a CGI. French Bulldog on the moon reading a book. <laughs> so keep that in mind. You can also go ahead and describe it in the prompt, but it's there as a nice shortcut, a nice heuristic watercolor. Actually, that's a really good one too. So keep that in mind. This works right out of the box. If you've got a mid-journey uh, subscription or you're paying for some sort of AI image generator, you may want to cancel now and just use the built-in one in Filmora. Okay, let's get on to the next thing. All right, the next tool I want to show you is Smart Cutout. I love this tool. It is fantastic. Watch this. I'm going to click over here. I'm in Media. On the right side here, when you click on Video, instead of going to Basic, if you look over to the right here, you're going to see AI Tools. Under these tools, there's a whole bunch of them here, and I'm going to show you a bunch of them. But watch this. If I click on Smart Cutout, now you'll see here that it says I can click to start it. So I'm going to click to start this. Just watch what happens here. Now, we've got our French, or our, pardon me, our pug on this one. Look at this cool cucumber. Just looking at us. Watch this. I'm going to go up here. We have simple mode and advanced mode. Nine times out of ten, I recommend the simple mode because the AI does a fantastic job. If you've got to fine-tune it, go ahead and click on advanced mode. We shouldn't have to for this one here. So, the next step here is I'm going to click to start smart cutout, and then it's going to say, hey, brush over an area first. So, look at this. I've got brush size set to 30. And I'm just going to brush over our little pug here or something like that. And watch this. If you've used Photoshop, if you've ever done filters or anything like that, you'll know exactly what's going on here, or After Effects for that matter. You're going to know that we have gone ahead and selected the bulldog in purple, and everything else is isolated in the background. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on Start. Click to Start Smart Cutout again, 
And this time, you're going to see here that it went forward and backwards to cut out the background. Now, watch this. I'm going to click on Save. And when I do that, there's nothing in the background. It's just a puppy dog, no background, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, why would we do something like that? That's a good question. Well, if I go to my stock media here and watch this, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these videos. Let's go with this tech one here. All right, I'm going to put that right here. And it's going to do nothing, but watch this. What happens when I move a uh, little pugger up to the top? There we go. We've got our pug in front of a new background because we cut out the background with AI and we can do all sorts of stuff. We can put the pug on the moon. We can put the pug in Hawaii. It's literally that simple and it's that good in Filmora 13. All right, let's get on to the next technique. All right, the next thing I want to show you is background removal. It is a piece of cake. In this case, we're going to use some green screen footage and then we're going to reveal the pug underneath it. What am I talking about here? Take a look at this here. I've got some green screen footage of what's basically just film. <laughs> just film here. It just looks like one of those old film recorders here. Just going cuckoo. If you've ever been in a grade 7 class where they brought in the film projector, well, here we go. We've got that. But underneath it, we have that pug from the previous video. So we're going to remove the background and just leave the green strip. How do we do that? The green film strip, pardon me. So how do we do that? Let's get rid of the green. I'm going to click on that top video here. I'm going to go up here to the right side. Instead of clicking on basic, I'm going to click on AI tools. And then right here, you're going to see one called chroma key. Literally turn this on and watch this. You're going to see here that now we've got the pug with the film projector. It's literally that easy. If you don't have great green screen or a great footage in the background, you can click on this select color here. And you can just go ahead and click on the eyedropper and select a color from the video that you want to remove. So just keep that in mind if you don't have a perfect uh, green screen in the background. I had a pretty good one, but, you know, you never know. And then if you want to, you can adjust things like tolerance, edge thickness to sort of basically just fine tune it and get it to look the way you want. So there you go. This is an AI tool, Chroma Key. It removes green screen. It moves backgrounds that easy. Let's get on to the next one. All right. The next thing I want to show you is the AI speech to text functionality in Filmora. It is fantastic. You'll notice here in the background that I've got some different footage loaded up, and that's because this footage has me speaking in it, where the previous one had AI music that we generated in Filmora. Very cool stuff, but totally different here. So let's just take a quick listen here for a few seconds so you can see what I got. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Another a Hello, everybody. Welcome back. to another AI video. So that's just how I start most of my videos. Now, the next thing is this isn't actually as easy to find as some of the other things I found. So let's just be clear here. So I've clicked on this video here. But if I click off of it and I just click into the blank space over here, you're going to see this icon pop up and it's called speech to text. So it's right here. And if you don't see it, just click outside of the whatever film or whatever uh, clip you're selected on and you'll see it. When you do that, click here, click speech to text, and then you get a few options. Language of the audio to be transcribed. I believe it's auto detected that it's English and it's using the U.S. version. But hey, so be it. If you want to do a translation and this is fantastic. For example, right now I create all of my videos in English, but if I wanted to translate them into French and open up another YouTube channel, maybe a French YouTube channel, for example, this would be where you can do it. So I'm going to select no translation, but there are many different translations you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and select the entire timeline sequence, but if there was a couple you know, seconds in there that you only wanted to be translated, you could do that as well. So just keep that in the back of your head. Uh, let's add automatical, automatical, I like that word, I don't even know if I knew that one. Add automatical active words, hell yeah, I love that word. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. When I hover over the question mark, it automatically matches dynamic effects based on the audio rhythm. So think about, uh, you know, some of those where the, you know, the, the bass beat drops when my voice inflection changes. So I'm going to keep that selected. Again, you don't have to do that, I'll unselect it. Also here at the, at the bottom here, I'm going to unselect it because I want to show you the two options here. There are titles, which generates ordinary text fragments within the program one by one on the timeline. So basically, it's going to put titles on it. And this one here is SRT, and this generates an entire subtitle file in SRT. So in some cases, you may want to upload an SRT file to YouTube, for example, to give it uh, your transcription. So either way is fine. I'm going to go with titles because why not? And I'm going to go ahead and add in the automatical active words. And then I'm going to go ahead and try this free. I've got a credit here. I'll click on that. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and cooked for us. And you'll see here it took 15 seconds or so to do that, which is actually quite fast. 
Uh, but I guess it's AI and that moves pretty quickly these days. So it says speech to text. They also have some other voice text services, text to speech, speech to text, and AI translation. So they're all in there. I only did speech to text. But this one here, let's click out of it and see what we got here. Check this out. When we kind of slide through this now, although well, maybe I'll close this one here. I'll make this a little smaller so you can see it. But basically what's happened is, is it's gone ahead and created the titles for us just like I asked it to. And even better, it's gone ahead and added in some pretty cool coloring. Although it doesn't make 100% sense based on the type of video I've got here. But something like this, you can see here, it is perfect. Now, you can also go ahead and change the position of it. So... For example, like I don't have it in the perfect spot. So if I wanted it to be maybe up at the top, I can go ahead and pull that up. And there we go. It would be up here. You can also drag the handles and make them bigger, smaller. Things like that are all also possible. You can add in backgrounds, I do believe. But there you go, guys. Text-to-speech and speech-to-text is fantastic in Filmora 13. Let's move on and show you the next technique. All right, welcome back. So remember, we translated the titles using the AI. If I just sort of slide through it here, look at this here. Let's, this is nice and easier to see. The top is in English. We're in chat, LLM Teams, and I got something. And that is exactly what I said, by the way. This is exactly correct, because that's exactly how I talk. And then on Francais, it says, Nous sommes dans les équipes de chat, LLM, et j'ai quelque chose. And I have something, or I've got something. This is a fantastic translation. Also, take a look down here in the timeline. You'll see there are two things on the timeline there's two basically there's the top and the bottom here on the timeline look at this here if i turn the top one off turn the top track off part of me it says new son dans les équipes and then if i turn it back on the english is on if i want to turn the french off i could turn the bottom the middle track off there part of me and then i could turn it back on so i can have one or both and it was literally that simple and if you can't find it you can always go up here and you can click under titles and if you click under titles you'll also see it says here AI translation. So this is amazing, guys. This is all built into Filmora. I did it in seconds. There's so much good AI content in here in Filmora, and they keep adding in daily. There's It's at the 13.6.8, and I know they've got another release coming up soon, so please take a look. Click on the link in the description below. It's worth a look, guys. It's really good. Thanks for watching.